so which of my Traco series besides my Burgessi Monstros do you think has the highest bricks level? I'm assuming that the higher bricks leads to higher alcoholic content. Not that if I elevate these levels by fertilizing, it'll increase alkaloid production. But simply that a higher bricks level is correlated with a higher alkaloid content in general. Again, a lower lower bricks level doesn't indicate that it's weaker, just that in theory, the higher bricks level should have more alkaloids. But again, a lower bricks may have produced more alkaloids than the higher bricks. This is just a theory that I have on a way to selectively choose which seedlings are worth growing or not. So continue with my idea on selecting seedlings at a younger age for their desirable effects. I tested all of my Trichoceris, Trichoceris seedlings and the vast majority of them test at around three bricks considering that they all have the same they all have the same treatment they should be somewhat uniform. I did this testing all today after around 5 o'clock in the afternoon so that it somewhat correlates with my previous tests. The bricks level does fluctuate throughout the day and even after watering and after fertilizing and everything. So to make it as useful of information as possible I did them all today and like I said a majority of them tested at around 3% bricks but the seedling that did the, the highest was this Brighezi. I, For my own reference I put a bald Brighezi but it's not really a bald Brighezi it's just a single spined other than the rest. It measured at 4.5 degrees. So if I were to select a single seedling that I would risk uh, selecting specifically for a content, I would choose this seedling. And these three are the ones that did the best. These three Brugazi, they tested at four or above. The bald one at 4.5, this one at 3.8 to 4, and this final one at 4.2. Surprisingly, this four wind Brighezi tested the lowest, as did this one, this Bacchanoi. They both tested at 2.2, which is the lowest out of all of my seedlings. The semi hydroponic setups they both tested at 3.2 and the pacanoid that tested the highest was which one is it was this one this pacanoid tested at 3.5 while a majority of them again tested at 3 or lower so if I were to select a Pacanoi purely on this test, which again I'm not sure if it does result in a plant that has a higher alkaloid content, but I am suspecting that this one would be what I would select since they're all growing in the same conditions and it has the highest bricks level. So with this idea, I obviously am not testing it now, but once they get larger, I'm hoping to do a 
comparison on the content and to see if my theory is actually correct which would be this pack of oil would have a higher alkaloid content than the rest of the pack of oils and some of the Burgessi as well this Burgessi also tested fairly high at no at three it's not that not high just three but this one was 3.5 so in theory this Pacanoi would have more alkaloids than this Burgessi again this is theoretical it may prove to be nonsense but this is what I'm pursuing for now I'm just labeling which are the suspected most potent seedlings that I have and in the future I'll be testing them I retested this one and it was around three in the past some of these were tested and they either decreased from a month-long drought or they increased after feeding and watering so to make it as useful of information as possible I did all these tests today they are all in the same conditions they all received the same fertilizing lighting and watering schedules so this is the Pacanoi that I'm going to keep an eye on and these three Burgessi are of interest to me as well particularly this one which tested the highest the this Pacanoi which is which which is the one that I selected due to its larger mass tested at 3 and this Burgessi usually tests around 3, 3.5 but it has tested lower during the drought period and this Pacanoi or Burgessi monstros on the 11th which is four days ago it tested at 5.8 to 6 bricks so when I received this it tested around 8 however I have no idea how the previous owner fertilized and treated so after this period growing period with me it I'm assuming that it normalized because during the drought period it dropped quite heavily to around 3 or 2.8 bricks and now it's back to around 6 so hopefully I'm not just trying to associate the high bricks specifically because of this cactus but I did have this theory before I received this clone and before I tested it so yeah just an update on the bricks testing of the tri tricoceries that I have